pair of AL clubs. We'll see the Baltimore Orioles as they play against the Kansas City Royals. Major League Baseball, right here on 2K Sports. And it's baseball from Kauffman Stadium. A glimpse of the beautiful waterfall, just part of the great view here at this field. Just moments from now, Gil Mesh is going to bring his stuff to try and baffle these hitters. Major League Baseball and 2K Sports. Gary Thorne, John Crunk, and Steve Phillips. What is it about this Baltimore lineup that they'll be looking for from him today? Well, the offense is going to be important to support this good right-handed pitcher on the mound today. He's facing a great lineup. This team could put some runs up on the board. So if his club could score early, it could take some of the pressure off of him and allow him to get in the strike zone a little earlier in the count. And time for our Pepsi offensive lineup. Here's the order for Dave Tremblay. Scouting report. How about some picks? Well, you see in this lineup here today, Luke Scott is in there. And he's a guy that you have to pick and choose when you want to play. He's not a guy that if you give 600 at-bats to, he's going to be more productive. He's the kind of guy that needs a break every once in a while. And when he's rested, he can produce. He's a guy who can put the ball in play. He can hit for power. Not a great average hitter, but he will get on base. Let's see if he can do it here today. Leading off the game, Brian Roberts. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. On Keel to field this one. Rome's over, puts it away. Now we'll take a quick look at the Royals and how they line up defensively. Highlight, Steve, for these fielders. Jason Kendall's always been known for his ability to call the game. His relationship with the pitching staff has been critical to his success and his team's success. And we've got Jones batting. Well, if Adam Jones can put together a full season, the numbers are going to go up. Only 131 hits. That should go up because he's such a great hitter. The batting average will go up. His stolen bases will go up. Everything around the board is just going to get better to him. The longer he's in the league and the more he knows the pitchers, the better he's going to be. Oh and one mesh kick the swing and a hot shot. And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. Adam Jones originally drafted as a shortstop, maybe even a pitcher. He's become an outstanding center fielder early on in his career. Well, he absolutely is, and what a gifted athlete. Six foot two, 200 pounds. He can go get him with, with anyone in baseball. And the Baltimore Royals have to be very, very pleased with the core nucleus of this young team. Ready with a 1-0. Hit hard on the ground to short. That's going to be a base hit for Marquecas. The best hitters in the game use the whole field. You have to be able to go the other way. Even when the pitch is over the heart of the plate, that's what he does right there. The guys prolong their career, not with power, but with base hits that are hit that way. And Reimold's batting. There's contact. He drove it well. On Keel to field this one. That Jones towards third. And the throw... He is safe at third base ahead of that play. Well, Steve, they won't get the RBI on this, but they'll give themselves a better chance of getting a run. Well, moving the runners up, that's what you have to do. Make productive outs. Here is Miguel Tejada. He's got a chance to put some numbers up. Ball and the pitch from Mesh low that time for a ball. Well, he had the right idea in mind, trying to get that fastball down and away. Just missed. Now let's see how he comes back with the next one. And here's the pitch. 1-0 pitch. That's a cutter in there. 1-1. One one. Swung on. Liner to right. And that one to fall in, and the run will score. But what a great piece of hitting right there and a big RBI. You put your team in the lead, and a lot of times it's too much for the other team to overcome. RBI opportunity goes to Garrett Atkins. Now this offense, Steve, it's on the move, and now they'll try and carry this on in the ballgame. Well, they staked out an early lead in this one, just where they want to be. Well, you know, when you hit like this in the first inning, you start to anticipate maybe a healthy bit of run support coming in this game. 
They come out strong, putting a run on the board early. The O's lead it one to nothing. And out on the mound, we'll see Jeremy Guthrie. He's starting the game for Baltimore. And Steve, uh, as you take a look at this Kansas City lineup, what do you think we're going to see? A uh, quality right-hander on the mound against this lineup. He should be able to, to get the outs he needs to come away with a victory, especially if his offense gives him some run support. Here's the first pick. Ball! Slider just misses. 1-0. Guthrie with the pitch. That one swung on. No contact by DeJesus. Count is even. For his career, 227 off the Orioles. The 1-1 pitch. Liner towards the hole. And the play made by Atkins. And we'll have a chance now to see how the Royals line up. Presented by Pepsi. Any of these bats stand out, John? When you're a manager, the toughest thing to do is to figure out where everyone fits into your lineup card. And you look at this lineup today, Billy Butler is entrenched in the middle of this batting order. He's a run producer, he's a power guy, and he's the guy that when the game is on the line, you want him up to bat. Let's see if he can deliver today. And for Sudnick's batting. Base is empty, one out. Good pitch from Guthrie. That was swung on and missed. Well, in 2009, the AL Central kind of fell back to the pack a little bit, and, and it showed with the results for the Orioles as they fared a little bit better against them than they did in some of the other divisions. The pitch Ball. takes one off the, the count at one. The Orioles at 17 and 20 against the uh, American League Central. Played some pretty good baseball against them, but again under 500. Yeah, and you look at the records, two and five against the Indians. The Indians struggled as, as much or more than the Baltimore Orioles in 2009, but not a winning record against them. This is the thing that they have to do. They have to realize that when they go outside of their division, they know they're going to play teams that aren't as good as what they've been playing, so they have to take full advantage. Sometimes, though, you can relax because you think, wow, this isn't the Red Sox or the Yankees anymore or the Rays. Now we're playing teams that aren't as good, but you have to. that's when you have to be as or more competitive when you're playing teams outside your division. That one's drilled to short, and that one's going to drop in. That's their first hit. Now we'll show you how the Orioles are lined up around the field. Any scouting picks, Steve? Nick Markakis moves both to his left and to his right very well in no fear of the outfield wall, which is critical for a quality outfield. And Butler's in the box. He's hitting 333 lifetime off Baltimore. We're definitely going to have to hold the runner close at first base. He can run. And boy, if he gets to second base, he's in scoring position and could tie this one up. Making sure he stays put watching that lead. One down, runner at first. Ball. It's taken for a ball. Bottom dropping out on Guthrie's pitch. Well, hitters know those two seen fastballs down on the way turn into ground ball out. So they lay off of it, but with two strikes, it's a pitch you have to swing at. And that's off the plate, away, ball two. Checks him at first, and he's back easily, made a dive to get in. Checks him again. Has to dive, but he's back in there in time. And here's the delivery. He watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike, 2-1. Listen, he's not one to get too fancy. 2-1 two count. He's going to come with a fastball. I'm betting on it. Well hit towards the middle. He grabs it. That's one. And a deuce, a double play. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Orioles still out in front. We got the bottom three in the lineup due up. 
And here's Luke Scott. And the pitch from Mesh low that time for a ball. The pitch. And he looks at a change up in the dirt for a ball. Fastball is by him that time, two and one. Here he comes, two one pitch. Two one pitch, a circle change taken for a call, strike two. Well, a change up right there hit a good spot. You want to keep that down in the zone, so even if they swing at it, it stays in the ballpark. There's a swing, line drive, center field, and he can't get to it. All the way to the wall. Stops at second, two-bagger. Well, a great leadoff double right there. No outs in the inning. Now, let's see if they can bring him across. It's going to be Weeders. Base runner at second with nobody out. Mesh with a delivery. There's a swing and a drive, deep right field. It Scott is headed for third. And we've got his tourist batting. Only one out, runner on at third. Strike one. And Mesh gets it by, called strike 0 oh and 1. On the ground to third. And Gordon is there. And that'll sit down as Turris. And they bring him home. Well, they're able to get the out at first base, but I'm not sure they shouldn't have tried to cut down the runner at the plate. And we're going to see Roberts here. And the offense here is putting on the show right now. They're in charge of this ball game. Well, you have to credit this lineup, Gary. Some quality at bats right now. and Taking advantage of the opportunities, and now they have a lead. 0-1, Mesh kicks and delivers. Good patience as Brian Roberts lets that one go by. Count is even. And it may be early going. They've got a chance to maybe put this ball game away and put a little defeatism on the other side. Well, what Back up the middle. And that's a base hit. Roberts on. So Adam Jones will be coming up. Well, anytime you can get a guy on base who can steal bases, it puts so much pressure on the opponent. Let's see if they can get him around to score a run. Two outs and a man on first. And the pitch to Jones. Fastball in there. 0-1. He's got one hit, five lifetime at bats off Mesh. Here's the pitch. Liner towards the hole. And that's a knock for Jones. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. And Mesh gets it by, called strike 0-1. Oh, That's a great choice of pitches right there. Not much the hitter can do with that. Just try to spoil it and maybe go after the next one. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Well, that's an intentional pitch right there. He wants to keep the hitter from leaning out over the plate. And Marquecas will watch that one up high. He has gone 6 for 20. That's a 300 average over his career against Gilmesh. Swing and a miss by Marquecas. That will not the count up. 
Jerry, if I'm the pitcher in this situation, I'm going with slider. He struggles with it, and it's one of my better out pitches. And Nick Marquega swings right through that one, and he's going to be gone. That is strike three. So they scratch across a run. Three hits and a couple left on. Baltimore leads it by a couple. Major League Baseball and Kauffman Stadium. A great combination and glad to share the day with you. And it's Jose Guillen at the plate. He's going to start the second for the home team. Now swinging a shot toward second. So Guillen is set down. And here's Rick on Keel. Nobody on base, one away. Hard grounded to short, and it's Torres picks it up, and that'll retire on Keel. Diaspo at the plate. Two outs, bases empty. Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. Guthrie with a 1-0 delivery. Fastball just misses and he falls behind 2-0. Here it comes. Fastball misses badly. He's in danger of losing him. Well, this is awful right here. He's falling behind this hitter 3-0. Let's see if he can come back to get him. The 3-0 pitch. Hot shot towards the hole. Throws to first in time. That's three down. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning. Nothing across. The Royals unable to get on the board. Dave Tremblay looking on. Now he has to be happy with the work on the mound, especially that last inning. Insurance runs so important. And Reimold's batting. Oh, and the pitch from Mesh low that time for a ball. This one's grounded hard up the middle. That looks like a single. And that'll bring Miguel Tejada to the plate. Well, a good start to this inning, but let's see if the guys behind him, after he starts out this inning with the single, can follow up and finish this inning off with some runs. Runner on first base, nobody out. First pitch to Tejada. Ball. And Mesh throws that one outside for a ball. He deals. Well hit towards the middle. And he's got it now. There's one. And there's the second out of double play. And here's Garrett Atkins. His fourth time around, he's gone one for three off Gilmesh. Base is empty and two down. And now Atkins gets set. Looked like the cutter that time for a tall strike. Look, Gary, 0-1 count. I'm looking for him to come right back with that fastball. Oh and one Mesh kicks and delivers. And that's a strike. Atkins will have to be a little bit defensive here. Here's the delivery. That's it foul by Atkins. Oh, 
And the pitch from Mesh low that time for a ball. Well, that fastball right there just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Swung on, line to right field. And it's through. Credit Atkins a single. That's going to bring up Luke Scott. And maybe he wanted to waste that pitch. It just didn't get far enough away or up high. Well, it just it was still caught a little too much of the plate, and the batter took advantage of it. Good focus at the plate. A runner on first with two outs. First one to Scott, the delivery. Ball! It's taken high for a ball. Mesh out of the zone. Swing and lined up the middle. And that one is in there, his second hit today. It's time, time to get it done. Baltimore, let's see if they can. Well, there's no reason in the world for any hitter to want to swing at that pitch. A pitch down out of the strike zone. Never had a chance at all to be a strike. But that's why we're up here talking about it, and he's down there doing it. He can get his bat on that ball to get a hit. First pitch is a cutter, looked at, 0-1. And you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Good eye by Matt Wieters. Lays off that one and we're even. He's batting 462 against the Royals. Good rip at that one, but he misses one and two. The one two on its way. Good eye by Matt Wieters. Lays off that one and we're even. Good movement on the cut fastball there. Just couldn't quite catch the bottom corner of the strike zone. Good eye at the plate. Pitch on the way. Can't connect on that one. Matt Wieters, he's empty and gone. No runs on three base hits and two men left on. And coming up, we'll see the Royals. Latter third of the lineup coming up. It's Alex Gordon now. He'll get us going here in the home half of the third. Good pitch from Guthrie. That was swung on and missed. Strike two. Gordon doesn't like to get behind here. See what he does with the 0-2. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And he's just able to put that tag on down the line. Close play at first. And Kendall's in the box. One for two lifetime against Jeremy Guthrie. One out, nobody on. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. Guthrie with the pitch. And he watches one miss low and outside. One and one. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he steps on first. That's the second out. First baseman does a nice job staying down on that ground ball. Scoops it in. Then goes over to the bag and takes it himself. Two outs and nobody on. There is a swing and a liner. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. And that's going to bring David DeJesus up. Well, with two outs and no one on base, chance of scoring a run seem pretty scarce. But they get that two-out hit. Now they have some life. Two outs and a man on first. Fresh count on DeJesus. Here it comes. And it's 0-1. Guthrie gets him looking. Well, the pitcher's executing his game plan. He knows these hitters. He knows how he wants to pitch them. And now he's locating his pitches in exactly the right spot. Here's a fly ball to straightaway left. And that's the third out. That'll do it. So Jeremy Guthrie holding it down. He has a shutout through three innings of work. We're through three innings now. 
Trey Hillman you're looking at. And you can imagine right now the inner workings here in the club trying to get this thing tied up. And we've got his tourist batting. The first pitch. Swung and a ground ball to third. One away. A nice play at third. He comes up throwing quick release, just getting the run. And we're going to see Roberts here. Well, you love a guy that hits at the top of the lineup. And Brian Roberts is a guy that could also produce runs. 16 homers, 79 RBIs in 2009. Plus, he can steal a base. He stole 30 of them. Ball one uh, to begin this at bat. One and oh. Ryan Roberts uh, moved along in his professional. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Picked up by Betancourt. So Roberts is down. It's a nice throw by the shortstop. And, and the key to that is having good feet. When an infielder makes bad throws, it's not because of his arm, it's because of his feet. Base is empty with two outs. Hit hard on the ground towards third. Throws on to first, side is retired. Well, how about that? Only needed four pitches to set down the guys. Tremendous. Baltimore two, Kansas City nothing. And Posednik's batting. First pitch on the way. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. Marquecas is there. And he gets over and grabs it with the left. Good first step movement by the right fielder. Good angle to run this one down and make a nice running catch. One out, nobody on. Guthrie with the pitch. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0-1. Again, we're into the fourth inning right now, and as you start to flip the lineup over again, you know, they've only gotten two hits, so they're going to have to really evaluate what they should be looking for at the plate, and maybe they need to be a little bit more patient and make them work. And that's a strike. Billy Butler's going to have to be in a defensive mode in this at bat. Butler swings and misses strike three. Well, he made it look easy right there. Slicing and dicing, just attacking the strike zone. Three pitches, all for strikes, sitting out. And it's Jose Guillen now. Two for eight lifetime batter against Guthrie. Two outs, bases empty. First pitch, A.B. begins to Guillen. Here's one, hit very well deep. This one to Jones. And that's the third out. That'll do it. Quick half inning there. It's over five pitches. The Royals unable to get on the board. And here's Nick Marikakis leading it off. One for two in the ball game. Oh, wow. And the pitch from Mesh low that time for a ball. The best curveballs are the ones that start in the strike zone, then fall out of the strike zone. He couldn't get him to fish for that one, though. Cutter just off the black, and he falls behind 2-0. and Here's the pitch. Well, three balls. Mark Hekas now, power hitter. Look out here. Batting 274, lifetime against the Royals. Marquecas with a 3-1 hitter count. 3-1 count, still a major advantage to the hitter. He's got to bring the ball in the zone, and he commands his fastball better than any other pitch. That's what he's done in the past. He swings and nails a liner, and Butler gloves that one. And Reimold's batting. He's one for one so far. One out, base is empty. First pitch on the way. Let's take it high for a ball. Mesh out of the zone. He's a very patient hitter, Gary. He likes to work the count, make the pitcher do a lot of work out on the mound. But you got to go right at him right now and try to even it up. 
Now the 1 0 pitch. Fastball low, 2 0. Sliders waved at and missed that time, 2 and 1. Well, this is just one of those pitches right there that he had a chance to put in play, but his indecisiveness caused him to hesitate. And when you hesitate, you are lost, especially in the batter's box. Two. The pitch that time at the knees, 2 and 2. Hit hard to second. Colaspo. In time for the up. And it's Miguel Tejada now. Matchup, 282 lifetime against Gilmesh. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch to Tejada. Cutter just misses, 1-0. and oh. This cut fastball is a very effective pitch for this guy because it allows him to set up all of his other pitches. Line shot into center field. And in there, he's two for three today. So that brings up Garrett Atkins. Well, that's 10 hits right now in this ball game for him. And, you know, you're going to have to wonder how much longer the manager's going to stick with this guy. Runner on first, two away. Mesh with a delivery. Fastball misses away, 1-0. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And there's DeJesus out number three. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. And coming up, we'll see the Royals. Leadoff hitter Rick on Keel. Guthrie with the pitch. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. They had the outfield swung around to the right that time. He had a long way to go to run that one down. Base is empty with one away. Here's the first pitch. Swing liner back up the middle. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. So Alex Gordon woke him up. Well, he stayed behind the ball right there real well. Got himself that one-out base hit. Runner at first with one down. First pitch on the way to Gordon. And it's 0-1. Guthrie gets him looking. What an outstanding pitch. Changing speeds, hitting your spots. Throw that change up away. Here's the delivery. Good patience. Alex Gordon letting that one go by. It evens the count. Just faced each other a couple of times. 0 for 2 against Guthrie. Change up just off the black, and it's 2 and 1. Well, a lot of guys would swing at that pitch right there, that change up down in the strike zone, but the hitter luckily stayed off that one. He watches the fastball go by. Now it's 2 and 2. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Now the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a rocket toward short. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Steve, sometimes that pitch down the middle you want to drive. He chose to take it the other way. Well, oh, good piece of hitting. You don't have to always pull that ball. You think up the middle at first and then adjust accordingly. Outstanding adjustment. And the first pitch. Swing and a shot to third. One and two. They got both of them that time. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. No runs yet for Kansas City. Bottom three due up next. And Luke Scott to bat. First one to Scott, the delivery. Ball. And the pitch from Mesh low that time for a ball. Here's the 1-0. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. 
That's one away. Well, I followed the scouting reports. They moved the outfielders back before the play, and they were in exactly the right position to be able to make the catch. Good coaching. Base is empty, one out. And here's the first one. And Mesh gets it by, called strike 0 and 1. Look, Gary, 0 1 count. I'm looking for him to come right back with that fastball. Here's the pitch. Strike two. strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Matt Wieters. Watch that strike zone. Ball. That misses at the shins. One and two. Boy, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. One two pitch coming. Good eye by Matt Wieters. Lays off that one and we're even. Typically oh. when you throw one in that far off the plate, you want to go to the outside corner. Let's see if he does it. I know a lot of pitchers like to pitch inside if they feel like the hitter's diving out over the plate, but I don't know what he was thinking right there. On the ground to third, and Gordon is there. And Waiters is retired. And we've got his tourist batting. Lifetime, one for three off Mesh. Base is empty and two down. Spotted by Kendall. And Mesh gets it by, called strike 0-1. Well, that cut fastball away. It looks like it's coming down the heart of the plate, runs to the outside corner. It tends to turn into a pop-up. Here's the pitch. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Throws to first side, is retired. Good defensive half inning there, no hits allowed. Baltimore 2, Kansas City nothing. Court at the plate. Six-year player. First pitch on the way. Swung on. Contact. Marquecas is going to play it. And that sets down Bettencourt. That's one down. It's going to be DeJesus. And in 2009 for the Kansas City Royals, David DeJesus was one of the most consistent players on that team. 558 plate appearances. He hit 280. Four stolen bases, the 13 home runs. He's a guy that can do a lot of things offensively, but also a good defender. One Strike one. one, Guthrie evens the count. For DeJesus, trying to find a place for him in the lineup has been an issue because he clearly can generate some offense, but still teams trying to find a place. There's a swing, line drive, center field. That gets down, that'll put him on the tying run up. And that's going to bring Scott Posednik up. Well, a little action going right now for this team. A single here with one out. A little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can bring him across. One out man on first. Here's the first pick. Makes contact. Uh, it is going to be fouled. That fly ball deep and off to the left. Here's the delivery. Hit sharply down the line. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. Kansas City gets a shot at it right now. He goes right with the pitch and slaps the ball in the left field. And if you try and pull that pitch, you're probably not even going to get the bat on it. That's a ground ball to second base if he pulls that one. And Butler's in the box. Lifetime, one for three off Jeremy Guthrie. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Billy Butler is the type of guy that the Kansas City Royals are going to build their offense around. He finally stepped up and, and had a breakthrough season for them. And if you're a rebuilding team, the last thing you want to do is find someone in the middle of your lineup to try to build the team around. They got that in Kansas City right now with Billy Butler. Guthrie with the pitch. Smash towards the middle. Up with it now. That's one out. And they get it. They turn two. And Jeremy Guthrie will head in. 
He's given nothing up through six innings of work. Unsurprisingly, his team in front. Up next, Orioles. And welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. So Brian Roberts leads it off. Grounded out last time. First pitch to Roberts. Ball. And the pitch from Mesh low that time for a ball. Well, he tried to change up right there, but it just stayed down and off the plate. Good cut fastball in there, one and one. Well, outstanding movement on the cut fastball, but he left it out over the heart of the plate. He got away with one right there. 1-1 one, one pitch. Ball Slider two. down at the shoe tops as he dances away. Look for the pitcher now to go away from the hitter. He's established the inside part of the plate. Now look for him to go away. Strike and two. here's a called strike on the off-speed pitch. Well, he doesn't want to lose him. A 2-2 count. He's going to go right at him. You've got a good fastball. This is the time to use it. The 2-2 pitch. Ball Brings that curveball just about at him, but it's full. The best curveballs are the ones that start in the strike zone, then fall out of the strike zone. He couldn't get him to fish for that one, though. Ball and four. that puts the leadoff man on, ball four. That's not how we want to start this inning, Gary. He's going to be pitching a world of trouble if he can't find his control. Well, the hardest thing to do when you have an at-bat that lasts this long is sometimes you have a tendency to be impatient and chase one. Give the hitter a lot of credit. It was a close pitch, but he laid off of it to earn that walk. They better keep an eye on Roberts right here, Gary. And the pitch to Jones. Curveball just misses 1 0. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. One away now. And he'll go back to first. So, Nick Marcakis is batting. One out, runner on at first. Mesh with a delivery. There's a swag and a ball lifted high, deep down the line and right. Over the wall, goodbye, a two-run homer. Now a four-run ball game. They just doubled their lead on that one. Well, sometimes pitchers just try to lay one in there to get ahead early in the count. This time he paid for it. Yeah, it looked like he thought he would take that first pitch, so he came down the chute with it. Well, you know, it's one thing to work ahead, but you at least have to make a quality pitch. The Baltimore's got to be thinking they've got this under control as they just keep adding on runs, Gary. One out, nobody on. First pitch, here it comes. Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. Steve, going back to that home run, that, that is a very tough obstacle now to overcome. And the manager in the dugout's got to be thinking to himself, how long do I let this pitcher go? Is it time oh. to get him out of there? And that's off the plate and low, 2-0. Oh. Well, he's, he's over the 80 pitch mark right now at this point in the game. And you know that pitching coach is keeping a close eye on him to see if he tires. Strike. Swings and misses at that fastball. Now it's 2-1. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. Here's the 2-1. Shot back to first. And that'll bring Miguel Tejada to the plate. Just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. Well, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. Well, probably the most valuable player in 2009 for the Houston Astros with Miguel Tejada. The home run. Lined right at the second baseman. The second for one. And two. Double play. Well, they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. Baltimore leads by four.
and it's Jose Guillen. First pitch, A.B. begins to Guillen. That one's wide, got three misses. Look here, listen, he's, he's made pitches. He's had, they've had a few base runners on against them, no question about it. They've gotten a few hits, but he's, not, he's been able to keep them from putting hit after hit after hit together. He's kept them off the scoreboard and let his... That's hit well off the bat again. Catch is made. Base is empty with one away. Guthrie with the pitch. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Now's the time he goes to the slider. This guy struggles in this situation. It's a good pitch for him. The pitch. Shot towards the hole. So that brings Alberto Callaspo to the plate. They played it like they knew he would hit it to right, like they wanted him to hit it to right. He hit it to right, but he was still able to come away with a base hit. The 2009 Kansas City Royals, they were a team that struggled to score runs. But one of the bright spots in that 2009 season was Alberto Callaspo. Here's a guy who hit 300 for him. He's a guy who can hit in the top of the lineup. You'd like to see him steal more bases. Only two stolen bases in 2009. If he can figure out a way to steal more bases, they will score more runs in the 2010 season. Callaspo probably playing in a, in a yard made, tailor-made for him because he is a gap hitter. And he's got good speed on the base. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And that falls for a base hit. That'll bring Alex Gordon to bat. Well, the slider's a little bit easier to hit when that break is coming to you as a hitter as opposed to moving away from you. You just have to make sure you clear your hands. He does a good job right there to get a base hit. First pitch, way out of the zone, ball one. The 1-0 now. And Gordon with a swing and a miss. That is a strike. The count evened up. He delivers. Swung on. Contact. Marquecas is going to play it. Two away. And Kendall's in the box. We'll get another shot after hitting into that double play last time up. Two men on and two men out. And the first pitch. It's taken for a ball. Bottom dropping out on Guthrie's pitch. One zero pitch is a fastball high. Two and zero. Fastball misses high, and it's 3-0. Well, that's just some good old country hardball right there. Forcing fastball up in the zone. Right Not on. looking at a fastball, 3-1 now. But clearly the hitter had to take sign on right there. He was taken all the way. Right that down. fastball is in there. He lays off it now at 3-2. A nice four-seamer right there. That one's clearly on the outside corner. He hit the spot. Runners go. 3-2 on the way. Ball four. And that misses. Ball four. He has loaded them up. Well, you just saw a great deal of plate discipline right there on the hitter. Maybe a little fatigue on the pitcher's part. They're not used to throwing that many pitches in one at bat. But the hitter wins it and gets that base on balls. The first pitch. A smash to first. And he will take it himself for the out. What an individual effort. So they can't figure anything out. And through seven, they remain without a run. Orioles still protecting this lead. Here's Garrett Atkins to lead off. And now Atkins gets set. Line shot into center field. The catch, and he puts it away, out number one. And Luke Scott up. Two for three thus far. One out, nobody on. 
He deals. First pitch is a cutter that drops low. 1-0. by Scott to even it up. Hey. Just off the inside part of the plate. Two and one. The two one pitch. And it's three balls, one strike. Scott now can pick his poison. He is one for one lifetime off Kyle Farnsworth. Here he comes, 3-1. Back there in deep left center. Two down. Well, they followed the advanced scouting report to a T. They played the outfielders back that time, and he hit it right into the teeth of the defense. Base is empty with two outs. Here's the first pitch. First pitch fastball misses badly that time. 1-0. Oh. 1-0 pitch. And that's the third out. Betancourt grabs it. Save your arm. Do it by pitching only eight times in one inning. Three outs. Orioles four, Kansas City nothing. The top of the order is due up next. And David DeJesus to bat. He's going to lead off the home half of the eighth. Guthrie with the pitch. A liner headed for the hole. And it's caught by Tejada. And now we've got one down here in this eighth inning of a shutout ball game. Now he's just putting on a show out there right now, Gary. One out, base is empty. First pitch on the way. Strike one. And it's 0-1. Guthrie gets him looking. Well, what an outstanding effort uh, by the pitcher today. I mean, he has just been on top of his game, making the pitches. And offensively, they just have not been able to back hits up with other hits to mount the rally. They've been held scoreless here today. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1-1. Change up, can't find the zone. Two and one. Two one pitch. And a beauty on the outside corner. Evens things at two. Oh, it's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone, down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. The two two pitch. He really tied him up and made him look bad on that one. And with that strikeout, he's just four outs away from a complete game shutout. Now, he's so locked in. He's in the zone right now. I think he can handle it. Now we're going to get a chance, Gary, to see the four-seam fastball in K-Cam. And Butler's in the box. He hit into a double play as last time. Two outs and nobody on. And the first pitch. Smash towards the hole. And there's Atkins as he pulls that one in for the third out. He's got eight shutout innings under his belt. All he has to do is keep his focus and composure in the night. No runs yet for Kansas City. Bottom part of the order will get their chance offensively. And for those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And we've got his tourist batting. The pitch. First pitch, a fastball. That's in there for a strike. Well, the pitcher gets away with one right here. Fastball right down the heart of the plate. Batter just let it go by. Ground ball to short. And Betancourt picks it up. And that'll sit down as Torres. 
And Brian Roberts stands in. Drew will walk his last time. Nobody on base, one away. First pitch to Roberts. Sinker misses badly, 1-0. One zero is a fastball that runs away to an O. Now the two O pitch, ball three. Brian Roberts lays off that one. Now a chance for a walk. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and believe me, very difficult to hit. That's swung on and a liner here. And that's a base hit. Roberts on. So Adam Jones will be coming up. He was sitting on the pitch in this count. He knew he was going to get something good to hit. And he was ready for it. Single. Nice job. Runner at first with one down. Here it comes. First pitch, a sinker away, 1-0. 273, the lifetime number off the Royals. At the belt, the 1-0. Swung on, liner to right. And that's a knock for Jones. There's the throw. Not in time. He's on at second. Good offensive chance here. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ballgame. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? One out with runners at first and second. Marquecas steps in. Here's swing, hot shot. Oh, Betancourt lays out, back up. And he gets the force at second. That is a tremendous defensive effort. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. And coming up, we'll see the Royals. Familiar face, the skipper Dave Tremblay. He has to be very pleased right now riding this one up. And Guillen's batting. He's ready to give his best to bat right here. First position, home half of the night. First pitch. That one's too high. Taken for a ball as Guthrie tried upstairs. Well, we're in the ninth. Obviously, uh, he can taste victory. He can see the finish line out in front of him, Gary. And, you know, offensively, they just have not been able to put any sort of pressure on him. Only four runners left on base this entire game. Ian will foul that one away. Guthrie with the pitch. Well hit towards the middle. And it's Torres picks it up. So Guillen is set down. Then you get this close. Two outs away from having a complete game shutout. Now, Gary, it always helps to have solid defensive play backing you up when you're trying to put the finishing touches on a game like this. And he starts and keel out. Hit up the middle. So that brings Alberto Callespo to the plate. Gotta love that first pitch fastball right where he wanted. He was thinking right back up the middle. Base hit the center. One down, runner at first. Here's the first pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. That's two gone. You're that close, but you gotta get one more out. Now he's been great, but his defense is really coming through behind him. Everyone on the team excited to be part of a potential shutout. Two outs and a man on first. Guthrie with the pitch. First pitch is a slider low, 1-0. That's a good pitch there. Tried to get him to chase it out of the zone. He just laid off. Lost the grip to that changeup, and it's 2-0. Well, he doesn't want to fall behind 3-0. He commands his fastball better than any other pitch, so look for him to throw it. Ball three, Alex Gordon laying off that one, and now he's got a chance for the free pass. Well, looking at this guy's pitch count, he's up over 80 pitches thus far. You wonder how long they're going to let him go. That's a foul by Gordon.
Here's a swing and a fly ball. Play is made. That's the last out. This ball game is now over. A tough loss here for this crowd today, but boy, do they see some, some kind of pitching performance from the visiting team. Now we'll look at our Pepsi Clutch performer, our stand-up performance deserving of recognition. Fantastic display by Nick Markakis today. Yeah, I mean, this guy came out and made this team look like world beaters today. Couple of hits, and he went big fly. All in all, it adds up to a nice day's work, and they come away on top. And we got to see a terrific performance out of their starter, and he was able to ride that one on to victory. Well, an outstanding effort. He had everything working today, the good stuff and location to shut down the opponent. So for Steve Phillips and John Crook, I'm Gary Thorne. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon.